Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Uzma Jafri. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 13th of November. India records less than 50,000 daily COVID-19 cases for sixth day in a row. CPEC not economic, but military corridor, says Sindhi leader. And celebrations for festivals of lights, Diwali, begin across India. And now for all the details. India's daily cases of the coronavirus remained below 50,000 for the sixth consecutive day on Friday, while the total cases tally rose to over 8.7 million. However, the Indian capital New Delhi is witnessing a sudden spike in cases in recent days as it faces a third wave amid the festive season. India's daily cases of the coronavirus remained below 50,000 for the sixth consecutive day on Friday, with 44,879 cases and 547 fatalities reported in the last 24 hours, taking the total cases tally to over 8.7 million, with 128,668 deaths reported so far. While daily case additions have come down significantly in the country, the Indian capital New Delhi, a city of 20 million people, is facing a third wave of infections. COVID-19 deaths in Delhi rose by 104, a record high on Thursday, and it also reported 7,053 fresh cases, taking the tally to 467,028, the most number of infections in the country. The increase is being attributed to a lack of physical distancing in public places ahead of Festival of Lights Diwali. तो दिल्ली में पिछले कुछ दिनों से कोरोना बढ़ रहा है जो भी उचित कदम उठाने की जरूरत है हम वो सभी उचित कदम उठा रहे हैं अगले हफ्ते भी और कई सारी चीजें हमने सोची हुई हैं कई सारे कदम और उठाए जाएंगे मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि हफ्ते 10 दिन के अंदर फिर से कोरोना की स्थिति काबू में आ जाने चाहिए मीनवाइल ऑन थर्सडे एज पार्ट ऑफ द ग्लोबल फाइट अगेंस्ट द पैंडेमिक Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced a contribution of 1 million US dollars to the COVID-19 ASEAN Response Fund at the 17th ASEAN India Summit held virtually. PM Modi underlined the importance of diversification and resilience of supply chains for post-COVID economic recovery. With the festive weekend around the corner, the air quality index in the Indian capital was in very poor category as per the data released by System of Air Quality and Weather Forecasting and Research on Friday. Cloud of smog enveloped New Delhi on Friday as air quality in the city deteriorated to its worst this year. Cloud of smoke enveloped New Delhi on Friday as air quality in the Indian capital deteriorated to its worst this year, partly due to crop waste fires in neighbouring states and local emission from vehicle exhaust. With smoke reducing visibility, commuters were seen travelling with the headlights of their vehicles on because of the haze on the road. According to Centre Run Suffer, System of Air Quality and Weather Forecasting and Research, the overall air quality index in Delhi was at 326 on a scale of 500 on Friday morning, indicating hazardous air quality. चार पांच साल से तो हम परमानेंटली देख रहे कि इस सीजन में आने के बाद बहुत ज्यादा हो रही है कभी कह रही सरकार कह रही कि जी पराली का धुआं है राज्य यूपी से पंजाब से हरियाणा से लेकिन ये समस्या जो है ना इसका कोई ना कोई परमानेंट सॉल्यूशन तो लेना पड़ेगा चाहे सरकार इसके लिए कोई ठोस कदम मतलब एक वो कहने की यूथ इस तरह पर काम करने की जरूरत है सरकार को बड़े ठोस कदम उठाने पड़ेंगे इन अ बिट टू कॉर पोल्यूशन अथॉरिटीज हैव बैन द सील एंड यूज ऑफ फायर क्रैकर्स अहेड ऑफ दिवाली फेस्टिवल इन न्यू डेली बट एनवायरमेंटलिस्ट हैव कॉल्ड ऑन द गवर्नमेंट टू डू मोर मीनवाइल अ यू एन बॉडी इज हेल्पिंग द अथॉरिटीज इन द कैपिटल आइडेंटिफाई पोल्यूशन हॉटस्पॉट विद आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड जियो टेस्टिंग मूविंग ऑन 
India on Thursday asked Pakistan to deliver justice in the 2611 Mumbai terror attack case after Islamabad released an updated book on most wanted high profile terrorists listing several Pakistani nationals involved in the 2611 Mumbai terror attacks but has omitted the mastermind and key conspirators of the heinous terror attack this comes ahead of the 12th anniversary of the Mumbai terror attack this year India on Thursday said it has seen reports of Pakistan's FIA, Federal Investigative Agency, listing several Pakistani nationals involved in the 2611 Mumbai terror attacks in an updated book on most wanted or high profile terrorists, but it glaringly omits the mastermind and key conspirators of heinous terror attack. India's Foreign Ministry spokesperson Anurag Srivastava said at the regular media briefing in New Delhi that Pakistan possesses all the necessary information and evidence on conspirators and facilitators of the Mumbai terror attack based on its soil but it is a matter of serious concern that it has not shown sincerity in delivering justice to the families of 166 victims from 15 countries across the globe while the list includes a select few members of the Lashkar-e-Taiba a un designated terror entity based in pakistan including the crew members of the boats used to execute the 2611 attack it glaringly omits the mastermind and key conspirators of this heinous terror attack according to reports the fi has admitted that 11 terrorists involved in the 2611 mumbai attacks were pakistanis the list has over 1200 names including of the terrorist who purchased the boat for the attack but does not mention lashkar e taiba chief hafiz said the mastermind of the attack as well as underworld don daud abrahim pro freedom sindhi nationalist leader shafi burfat has blamed that the multi billion dollar china pakistan economic corridor or cpec is not an economic but military corridor he said through the so called development project china aims to subjugate sindh and balochistan and occupy the coasts and resources in the region shafi burfat chairman of ga sindh mutahida mehz a pro freedom sindhi nationalist party has blamed that the multi billion dollar china pakistan economic corridor or cpec is not an economic but military corridor The Sindhi leader said Sindh and Balochistan are equally affected due to atrocities by Pakistani forces and the expansionist and oppressive results of China in the wake of the CPEC. He said through the so-called development project China aims to subjugate Sindh and Balochistan and occupy the coasts and resources from Sindh's Badin to Balochistan's Gwadar. CPEC jo hai wo Chinese Pakistan military corridor hai. Aur ye चाइना को गवादर और सिंध और बलूचिस्तान के जो साहली इलाके हैं हमारे जो समंदर हैं वो चाइना के हवाले किए गए हैं चाइना की नेवी को पाकिस्तान साजिश के तहत वहां पर मुनजम कर रहा है सिंधी एक्टिविस्ट हैव लॉन्ग बीन रिक्वेस्टिंग द इंटरनेशनल कम्युनिटी टू टेक नोटिस ऑफ द वायलेंस इन्फ्लिक्टेड बाय पाकिस्तान अगेंस्ट देयर पीसफुल स्ट्रगल दे ब्लेम इनोसेंट सिंधी पीपल आर सब्जेक्टेड टू टॉर्चर killings and enforced disappearances by pakistani forces for raising their voices authorities in pakistan have systematically denied benefits rights and resources to the people of illegally occupied regions of pakistan administered kashmir for more than 7 decades as a result time and again people have to come on the streets to demand their rights Recently engineers in the region demonstrated in Muzaffarabad city demanding technical alloyance on the part of the provinces in Pakistan Professional engineers in Muzaffarabad town of illegally occupied Pakistan administered Kashmir held a pen down strike recently demanding the provision of technical allowance on the pattern of the provinces in Pakistan The striking employees made it clear that they would not resume their responsibilities on the basis of any hollow verbal assurance and issued an ultimatum saying that the intensity of the demonstrations if government did not pay an immediate heed to their demands. Engineers say that even though the government has acknowledged their demands but still no notification has been issued on the same. Today engineer community 
पूरे आजाद कश्मीर से अपने तमाम दफातर तमाम प्रोजेक्ट्स को बंद करके यहाँ आए हुए हैं और मैं समझता हूँ ये हकूमत की नाकामी होगी कि अगर इंजीनियर्स ने अपना काम छोड़ दिया अपने प्रोजेक्ट पे काम करना छोड़ दिया अपने ऑफिस को छोड़ दिया तो मैं समझता हूँ ये हकूमत का पिया रुक जाएगा ये उनकी जो तमीर तरक्की होगी ये मकम्मल नहीं हो सकेगी और इस वक्त मौजूदा जो हुक्मरान यहाँ पे इस वक्त हकूमत कर रहे हैं उन्होंने हमारे जायज मुतालबे को तस्लीम किया हुआ है अब सिर्फ क्या है कि उसकी दुम बाकी है उसका नोटिफिकेशन होना बाकी है Pakistan which claims the region of its own has given similar allowances to engineers in its provinces but has turned a blind eye to the demands of these men All they are asking is 1.5% technical allowance of the salary as per 2017 pay scale but government that works in cahoots with Islamabad doesn't seem to pay any heed In news from Nepal Construction of India funded integrated check post in western Nepal will foster the trade relation between New Delhi and Kathmandu Nepal's minister for urban development has said the facility being built at Nepal Ganj is expected to promote systematic approach to cargo handling which will save time and reduce overall transaction cost for cross border trade and commerce The India funded integrated check post or ICP being built in western Nepal would foster the trade relation between New Delhi and Kathmandu revamping the age old ties minister for urban development of the Himalayan nation said on Thursday addressing ground breaking ceremony of ICP via teleconference on Thursday Krishna Gopal Shrestha said that the infrastructure being constructed in Nepal Ganj would help Nepal in various ways ICP at Nepal Ganj once completed will have export and import cargo handling facilities such as warehousing amenities for drivers and passengers CCTV and other security systems it will promote systematic approach to cargo handling which will save time and reduce overall transaction cost for cross border trade and commerce Nepal Ganj ekikrit check post atyanti pratikshit tatha दुई घनिष्ठ छिमेकी देश को भंसार रगमन को आधुनिकरण का साथ ही नेपाल भारत सरकार बीच को लमो फलदायी सहयोग को ताजा उदाहरण को प्रयास हो The tendered cost of the project is 2,354 million Nepali rupees, and the construction period is two years. A similar facility is being built on the Indian side also, which started in May this year. Hindus in parts of India throng jewelry shops on Friday to buy gold and assorted jewelry on the occasion of Dhanteras, considered to be an auspicious day to usher prosperity a day before Diwali, the annual festival of lights. People in parts of India throng jewelry shops to purchase gold and assorted jewelry on the occasion of Dhanteras, celebrated a day before the annual Hindu festival of lights, Diwali. Since Dhanteras is regarded as an auspicious day to usher prosperity, people in India's western Mumbai, eastern Bhuvneshwar cities, and capital New Delhi were seen buying gold and silver items to mark the occasion amid the coronavirus pandemic. बहुत क्राउड है लेकिन आज धनतेरस है तो थोड़ा तो कोई कोई भी तो सोना चांदी कुछ भी कह क्योंकि धनतेरस में सोना खरीदना बहुत शुभ माना जाता है। पर से कोरोना के टाइम में मेंटेन कर रहे हैं दुकान वाले भी सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग कर रहे हैं लेकिन चलेगा। Meanwhile, a Grand Diwali event began in Ayodhya city of India's northern Uttar Pradesh state on Friday afternoon to celebrate the annual festival in which Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath also took part. This year's celebrations are special since it is the first after the country's apex court gave go ahead for temple construction of Hindu Lord Ram in Ayodhya, who is worshipped on the festival. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com/SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button. 
subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button